So let's see some application based problems where we use trigonometry in real life. One of the word problems which we're going to discuss as an example topic. To start with, let me have a question where a person is watching the tower 15 meters away away now the angle of elevation of the top of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower as observed by the person is 45 degrees. Now this is the minimum information given through which I have to find ultimately the height of the tower. Find the height of the tower. The question is to find the height of the tower where a person is watching 15 meters away on the top of the tower. So usually such word problems are converted into diagrams and then we solve using the concept of right angle triangles connected with trigonometric ratios. This is how the application of trigonometric ratios comes into existence for the real life problems. Now how do I convert this into a diagram is the biggest question here. So usually when you have such word problems given in the topic of trigonometry, the first thing what we do is we draw the ground because when there's a person and a tower, a person and a tower cannot exist if there's no base. Therefore, we draw the ground and then the tower on the ground and the person on the ground makes a more meaningful sense. So therefore, for any word problem in trigonometry, we first start with the ground. To start with the ground. Now let's see, here is the person at A, there's a person standing out here. So there is a tower out here, exactly 15 meters, because it says that a person is watching the tower 15 meters away. That is, if my tower is out here, if this is my tower, if BC is my tower, then the person is exactly standing 15 meters away from the tower. That is AB equals 15 meters. Now, with this information, it is also given that the person is watching the top of the tower making an angle of 45 degrees. That is, when I watch the top of the tower from here, I see that this is the angle of elevation. When I'm watching upwards, it is clearly angle of elevation. Therefore, when I'm watching the top of the tower upwards, the angle is given to be 45. So this is how I get this to be 90. So this obviously tower will be 90 degrees to the ground and then the person is 15 meters away and the angle is 45. So with this two basic informations or the third basic information, we try to find the height of the tower which we assume as h because we don't know the height of the tower i take let h be the height of the tower of course in meters because i convert that in meters so let h be the height of the tower in meters so using this right angle triangle abc let's see how we can find h now, as I see this diagram, clearly I observe that now there are three trigonometric ratios which we have discussed, which are standard sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. But sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse, but because I don't need AC, I need H, that is the opposite side. Now, because the adjacent side is given and I need to find opposite, we know that the opposite and adjacent sides are related with tan theta. So tan theta helps me in this real life problem is very important for identification. Therefore, to find the height of the tower, I take tan theta, which is 
opposite by adjacent so in triangle a b c now to start with this triangle i take tan 45 because i can find the height of the tower if i connect the opposite side with adjacent side hypotenuse do not, does not help me in this case it's of no use taking ac or the hypotenuse for solving the problem therefore connecting opposite and adjacent with tan theta which is opposite by adjacent I get this to be from trigonometric table which we have defined for special angles tan 45 is clearly 1 and then my BC is H as can be seen from the triangle ABC and then my AB is clearly 15 meters as can be seen in the triangle. Now on cross multiplication I get H equals 15 that implies the H which is height of the tower is 15 meters. So with this I get that height of the tower is 15 meters is what I get for this problem. Now here we identify that without just measuring the height of the tower with a measuring tape I can utilize the distance and the angle which can be easily measured in engineering session and then I can find the height of the tower using trigonometry tan theta is one of the most interesting concept of trigonometry applied in real life.